Hi, everybody. Welcome to this live, and thank you for joining us today. We will talk about the ECAM engineering program and the admission process for international students. Students of French high school can apply through Parcoursup. Another live will be dedicated to this process later on. My name is Gaëlle, and I work for the admission teams. Today, I'm with Rohit and Alexandre, who will now present the Hello, so my name is Alexander. Um, I'm an ECAM 2 student. Attends, attends, attends. Uh, and so basically, uh, the way I discovered about ECAM is I, I'm a French, I'm French originally, and I lived in France until fifth grade. And then I moved to the United States. Uh, and I spent uh, all my middle school and high school in the US and decided to go back to ECAM. And that's how I ended up here. Uh, I'm Rohit. I uh, am Indian and I'm in engineering too. I discovered uh, ECAM uh, from uh, Campus France. I think people in a uh, million West Bengal can discover Campus Campus France and like ECAM, they are related. Uh, and I studied in uh, India uh, my whole life. I was, uh, I was always looking for international schools and ECAM really appealed to me because uh, the admission process was extremely easy and uh, uh, there's a lot of internationals in ECAM. So yeah, yeah, well, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys. To start, I would like to give you a few words about, uh, you know, our school. Uh, ECAM Lyon is located in Lyon, in France. Lyon is the second biggest school in France. Uh, and our school has have been created in 1900. So we are technically an old school, but we are also very innovating thanks to our links with the industry. We are able to know what they expect from engineers nowadays. And so, for example, we created this uh, very innovative engineering program entirely taught in English. ECAM Lyon is also a very um, you know, renowned school here in France, but also abroad. We are accredited uh, by the government and uh, some other institution. And we have also a very good uh, place in every rankings. Uh, and we are renowned as the, one of the best post-baccalaureate, post-high school, uh, French engineering school in, in France. So what I will do now is that I will share my screen with you so that I can uh, explain the structure of the program. So now you should be able to see it. Uh, so the ECAM engineering program is a master double degree program. As you can see, uh, at the end of the five year, you will have to do uh, one year of exchange in the partner university to get a double degree. At the end of this five year, you will get the ECAM mechanical and electrical engineering degree along with a master of science in the specialization chosen uh, of the university um, that matched uh, your specialization. So this is a five-year program that you can join after high school, but you can also start the program in your two or in your three, depending on what you've been studying after high school. If your uh, profile match or expectation that you can find online, you can now join this program in your two or three. So what you can see is that the first two years of this program are quite general. You will study a lot of math, a lot of physics, so you must love that. Uh, and globally scientific fundamental knowledge. You will discover our fab lab uh, to do a lot of um, teamwork on projects and you will have a lot of workshop. So it's a very practical program. During the second years, you will have a lot of workshops to discover the specialization we offer in order to be able to choose one of them at the end of the second year. The four specialization uh, that you can choose are energy engineering, robotics and IT, industrial and supply chain management, and mechanical design engineering. You will start studying one of them uh, during the third year. Beware, you cannot choose your specialization during the program. So you must attend all the workshops. Be really focused to be able to know which one you want to do. Then during the year three, you still have some uh, scientific, uh, scientific uh, knowledge, and then discover, start your specialization along with an eco-design project. In year four, you will go on with your specialization and an innovation project, and then 
for, to finish your uh, engineering program, you will go abroad in one of our partner university to study the Master of Science that match your specialization. So what you can see is that it's a very practical program with a lot of projects. Uh, during this project, you will be able to use all the equipment we have on campus. You will be also in contact with companies. Um, and you can see that you will also do a lot of internships, at least 10 months over the five years, with one internship that you can do abroad. Those internships, along with those projects, with some um, careers events, some visit of industries, will help you build a very strong um, professional network. You can see that this program uh, does not, um, you don't have to, uh, to, to have like a, a, um, a test or anything specific. It's, it is a continuous assessment all during the five years. The, um, the admission process we will talk about now, but then it's all on continuous assessment. If you work hard enough, you can go all through your, your, the years. I will now uh, stop sharing the screen and give the word to the students. Maybe can you uh, tell us, you know, why you choose this program? How did you know about us? What you think now after completing the first year? Please let us know. So I guess I'll start. So for me, there were three important things that really appealed to me throughout the program. The first one is the fact that we started with two years with general engineering. So personally, I wasn't sure what I wanted to specialize in. So the fact that we could have a general, uh, like two years general to discover everything about engineering was very appealing to me because then I can choose my specialization at the end of this year or next year. So that was very interesting. Uh, the second thing is the fact that it's international. Uh, as I said, I'm from the U.S. Uh, I lived in the U.S. for a very long time. So having classes in English was a must. And also the fact that we can go internationally, uh, both for an internship and also for uh, our last year and have a diploma from that university uh, is a really uh, a great thing to have extra in terms of what companies nowadays want for their uh, employees. And the last thing that uh, interest me, interested me was the fact that ICAM is also a LaSallean school. Uh, and I was in a high school that was relatively similar to that in the US. And I really liked the mentality of that and uh, the fact that teachers support you uh, and it's everything is a big community and uh, the, the mentality throughout the school is very good. So for me, these were the three points uh, that made me choose ACAM over all any other schools that it was accepted to. So, yeah. Thank you. Um, okay, so for me, the main factor was the internationals and and France, of course, I was really surprised when uh, I saw ECAM as like the total English course in France because uh, well, France is supposed to be extremely close community and like and ECAM has a full English program besides that. Like besides that, that's that was pretty cool. Uh, that was pretty good. And uh, the second factor was the La Salle network, which my dad was really interested in, like because. Uh, it's a really good network of professional people and professional, like everything is pretty good about the Sun network. And uh, and yeah, for me, these two factors are the main uh, main reason why I joined ECAM. Okay, thank you. And can you tell us a bit of, you know, how you feel after completing one year? Uh, was it uh, as you expected? What did you study? Uh, did you did you, you know, struggle to uh, to pass this year? And yeah, tell us a bit about what you study and how you felt. Uh, well, in year one, it was pretty, it was extremely easy for me because, uh, well, um, I already did all the things. Uh, well, in India, it's pretty ahead of the time. Well, that's why that was one of the reasons. And like year one was uh, uh, basically teaching us elementary stuff, the basic concepts and basic models of mathematics and physics. Uh, to prepare us for the year two, which uh, I think we'll, many of us found that pretty easy, and some of us did struggle, but it's not that it's not that difficult. And uh, well, there was uh, there were some practical works which were extremely interesting, and uh, yeah, that was it. So yeah, for me, uh, year one and the first half of year two were very interesting. As I said, uh, we did very did multiple different things about which were good. Uh, in terms of the level, it was a good continuity uh, compared to the level that I had in the US. 
uh, and it was very interesting. We've had multiple labs, which were interesting, not only just to learn the theory of engineering sciences, but also like applications and being able to not just like stupidly learn like everything, but also like apply them and think outside of the box. So that was interesting. And then one part was the fact that we've had an internship already this summer that we had to do. So that was also extremely interesting and uh, everything about it like brought a lot to me. So, so that was important. That's very interesting. Thanks. Can you tell us a bit about your internship then? Where did you do it? What did you do then? Yeah, no problem. Uh, so basically, uh, the way I found the internship uh, was last year, there was um, a small meeting about an old ECAM student that now works at Louis Vuitton. Uh, and so I went to this meeting. Uh, it was super interesting. We talked for about an hour. And then uh, a couple of days behind after that, I sent uh, my, uh, my resume asking if it was possible to have an internship at Louis Vuitton, uh, which uh, although COVID was complicated, uh, was positive. So I worked for one month uh, this summer at Louis Vuitton uh, in, um, in Paris uh, at Europa. Uh, and it was extremely interesting. Uh, uh, and the fact that um, ICAM allows you to, for your first internship, do about it, do, do it in any type of company that interests you uh, was super interesting. I was able to have some professional relationships also looking for the actual internship was interesting and just like having uh, the life of an employee uh, for a month is something that, that is very useful, I think. So, and it looks good on the resume. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, co uh, coming back to the, to the program in itself, do you already have an idea of which concentration you will study? I presented the four, uh, the, 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 the four possibles. Do you already have an idea? Do you already participate in any workshops? Um, well, uh, well, I really chose ECAM for the robotics, and uh, I think I'm really going to choose the robotics because the robotics club in ECAM is pretty good, and they really inspired me to do something because uh, the members of robotics club are really, really good, and they uh, are really uh, useful in terms of creating real life projects and really interesting projects that that uh, actually threw me more towards the uh, robotics uh, uh, robotics concentration. Initially, I was going to choose the energy concentration as all my friends were pretty interested in and I kept following the energy concentration. It kind of inspired me, but then uh, the robotics club really did uh, uh, throw me to the robotics concentration, yeah. Okay, thank you. What about you, Alexandre? Really for myself, based on the classes we've had last year, the classes we've had this year, and also my internship, uh, I've decided 90% that I want to do the supply chain management. <laughs> Uh, which is extremely interesting. I've started reading books about that, and uh, especially the universities abroad that support that specialization are very interesting. Uh, there's a couple in Australia, in South Africa, and in Canada. So, so that's something that interests me a lot. And it can really, like the way that they teach it makes you want to be more about it. And so I've started reading books about it, contacting colleagues. Of uh, parents to see what they knew and everything about that so so yeah great thank you uh, so what's important also to know is that we will held we will hold a dedicated live to every specialization so if you are interested in knowing a bit more about the specialization uh, just to you know project yourself in this program Please go on our website. We have a special um, a special page with all the dates of this uh, specific live. And uh, every time there will be one teacher of this uh, specific specialization, and then one student who are already uh, joining this uh, this specialization. So it will be very interesting, and I really invite you to join us for this live as well. And now that we uh, talked a bit about the program in itself, we will now focus on the international admission process. As I said, it's different from um, the French high school that have to go through the national platform Parcoursup and international students. International students are either you know, students that are not French, but also French students who are studying in other uh, institution, in another system than the French one, just like Alexandre did. So 
uh, the platform is now open, so you can go on our website or either on our, directly on our application platform, which is application.ecam.fr slash EENG. Um, it's now open and you can start your application. So there is uh, four steps that you will have to go through. And we also have like a tutorial, a very short video uh, that can explain to you uh, very uh, technically and uh, precisely how to proceed to your application. So you will find it uh, on the chat on the YouTube live. So first, you have to submit your application, create an account, and submit some required documents. Your resume, which will help us a lot to understand your uh, past uh, study, um, and uh, your yes, yeah, so what did you study? Because depending on every country, it can be a bit uh, confusing for us. So it's very important to give you to give us your resume, everything in English, of course. Um, then you have to write a personal statement. This will help us understand who you are and why you want to join us. So this is very important. Uh, please explain why you want to do, uh, you know, engineer uh, studies. Uh, what led? How did you know us? That's important for us to know. So yes, write um, personal statements, and then you have to give us, of course, an ID, um, but also your grades of the at least last two years of high school, so we can better understand uh, what is your level and what you studied. Uh, if you are applying for your two or your one, you have to uh, give us the copy of your uh, degree uh, as well as the grades that you obtained after high school. Uh, so that's pretty much the, the document required. Of course, if you have other things you want to add, like, I don't know, some certificates, English certificates, or uh, if you uh, pass some, uh, some other tests, if you are part of a robotic club or whatever, you can add anything you think uh, might, uh, you know, uh, draw your our attention, especially on your application. Then, when we check that everything is great, uh, that you have a good uh, profile to apply to this program, you will go through a math and physics test. The topics to uh, prepare this test, if you want to, are available online. It lasts pretty much 30 minutes, and it's uh, based on yeah, several topics uh, that you should have go through during high school. You can find everything online if you want to prepare it. Then, if the results of this test are conclusive, you will be invited to do a motivational interview. So it's a very um, interesting exercise because you have to record yourself. You will not be in front of someone during this exercise. You will have um, questions that will, that will appear in your computer, and you will have sometimes pretty much one minute, one minute, 30 seconds to answer it. And it's to talk about you, uh, some questions about why you're here and things like that. It's five questions and you have to uh, plan like 15, 20 minutes to do it. Then with all these elements, the documents, your test and uh, the motivational uh, video, we will uh, go through the admission board. We will, we, will held, we will have an admission board every month starting January to June. And during this admission board, we will review everything. If your uh, profile is uh, great, we will offer you a pre-admission. You will then have to pass the English test. If you already passed an English test like TOEIC or IELTS or the Cambridge certification um, and dated less than 18 months, you can send us uh, your certification and then you won't have to do the, the English test. But otherwise, you will have to do our English test and you will have to obtain a B2 level at least to be able to join this program. The jury can also decide uh, to ask you more information, uh, to review some part of your application and not offer you admission right away. But anyway, you will shortly after the admission board receive an answer and hear from the admission team. So yeah, I strongly invite you to check the video called called the uh, application, application process, I guess, that's available um, on our website and that explain that again uh, to you if you want to uh, be uh, re very ready. Just a few words again on the requirements for students who would like to apply directly in one, two or three. Please note that you cannot have more than one gap, one year gap uh, in your study. If you uh, stop studying during three years, you won't be able to uh, apply to our program. That's very important. Of course, you must have keep studying after high school maths and physics, and uh, your syllabus must match uh, the ECAM engineering program. So that's we will review during your application. Please check the details of all these criteria online. 
So guys, up to you now. Can you tell us a bit about your application? When during the year did you start applying? Uh, yeah, how did, did, did this happen for you? So for me personally, uh, like overall, when I was in, in high school, I applied to like 30 schools in like five different countries. And so I know that the like university application process is complicated overall, stressful and stuff. But honestly, ICAM is absolutely not stressful in terms of its application. It's everything on the website. Uh, they tell you exactly what to do. And so I had no trouble applying. Everything was clear. So my advice to you guys to like have a successful application is number one, obviously show you're motivated to like get into it, especially through the speech. Uh, because for uh, ICAM admission boards, that's I think is the most important because as long as you want to do it, that means you're able to do it. And then also be able to have the correct math and physics uh, level to be like able to go into ICAM. But honestly, uh, in terms of high school, if you've gone to a good high school and have uh, a relatively good focus into math and physics, uh, that's totally doable. At least that was my case uh, in the U.S. So, so no worries about it. Uh, admission is relatively easy on your side. Um, well, I started my application, and uh, I think uh, in around January 2019, I I gave the SATs, I gave the English test, I applied to uh, I think. I think four different countries because I was really interested in studying in the, in like internationally. Uh, well, I was accepted in, into most of them, which was extremely stressful because uh, well, you have to give so many tests and there's uh, different level of requirements. Uh, but well, I found ECAM to be extremely simple. The admission process was extremely simple. I just had to fill up a form. There was a test. The if you did well in high school, it would be extremely easy to uh, give the test. But like, if you have to like give the, you have to be really good in high school and uh, follow your courses, of course. And uh, the interview part was, I think, was one of the main uh, uh, things to like get you into ECAM because you have to show that you can actually interact in English. And since it's an international program, uh, you have to be uh, able to interact in English, of course. Uh, well, yeah, overall, it was uh, pretty easy for me, yeah. Thank you. Uh, so just one, one other thing. Uh, the ECAM admission team is always available for you during this process. Uh, and then we will also have a Skype session with you guys uh, in order to you know help you with any question you might have, because um, depending on your situation, everything might not be on the website. So anytime, if you want to have a chat session with us, you just write us an email admission.engineering.icam.fr and we will um, pl plan a chat session or anything that you might uh, need to make sure you have all the information. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Sorry to cut you off, but I because my situation was kind of complicated, I passed a weird diploma. I like emailed like two or three people from ICAM, which answered to me super quickly, were very nice and were very clear about what to do. So honestly, don't be worried about asking questions and asking for help. Uh, ACAM Ambition Board is like here to help. In fact, in fact, in fact uh, when I was giving the interview and the test, my test was cut off two times because my internet connection was very bad. I like emailed it to one of the advisors in ECAM about the admission test and they totally gave me a test again. And they say that there was no problem whatsoever and I received the reply in like five minutes. So it was pretty good. <laughs> okay, great. Thanks for confirming, uh, confirming what I said. Thank you, guys. <laughs> um, so now that we reviewed the application program, uh, once again, I just want to say that you can ask every question you have on the chat of the YouTube and then at the end we will take time to answer everything. So don't hesitate and enjoy the fact that we have two students here to answer as well. Uh, I just would like to focus a bit on the financial help that you can find at ICAM Lyon. Uh, ICAM Lyon is part of the La Salian network, so we have a very um, human spirit and we want to help people uh, as much as possible. 
So there is a lot of things that we can do for you to help you. Just, just uh, not just with money, money-wise, uh, but personally, we, we are here also to discuss with you and help you in any way we can. But what is also important, of course, is the financial help. So um, just know that every year we have a mobility scholarship uh, program, which is uh, created to help you guys um, to settle and prepare your arrival in France. It will not cover fully uh, the tuition fees. You have to know that. It's up to 2,000 euros every year per student, and it's only for the first year. It's not renewable every year. But it's just, you know, uh, to help you have a good start uh, for your ar arrival in France. Um, also, once you're in ECAM, you can apply um, for different uh, financial help. We can offer some uh, small tasks, small work to do on campus. Um, we can also have a merit scholarship if you have a great, uh, you know, results and you have a, you are the top of your of your class. You can um, receive a merit scholarship. Also. Uh, what you have to know is that when you are a French student, when you have the French student status, you will receive help from the government. You will receive help, uh, especially for your uh, housing, for example. So every kind of stuff uh, like that, all the administrative tasks that you have to do to receive some help, we have an international student desk for that. We'll talk about it a bit later. Uh, also, Campus France offers some financial help, so please check their website to see what they can offer you and what you can, uh, you know, you can be eligible of. So there is a lot of resources available for international students. We want, you know, people to come to study in France, so we do uh, create a lot of uh, scholarships and, um, and financial help. What you can also know is that in France, it's it's possible to get a student loan. We also have partnerships with some banks here. And again, our international student office can help you um, ask for such a student loan. And what's important too is when you do an internship more than two months in France, you receive, uh, you can earn some money, which can help as well. Um, Again, scholarship will never fully uh, cover your tuition fees and you, you, have, you must have a solid financial plan before coming to France. Um, the prices are very well explained on the website, but just for you to have the idea, uh, the five year of the ECAM engineering program total uh, are 37,000 uh, euros. So it's quite a budget and you have to plan uh, the, 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 the financial part of your studies in order to be able to focus on your studying while you're here. A lot of students ask if they can work while studying. First, it depends on your visa. It depends on every country. And it's, it's not the best situation when you want to study. You have to be, it's a very hard um, program. I mean, engineering and sciences are hard. So you have to be able to focus the most on your studies. So try to, to have a strong financial plan before you come. Uh, also, Lyon is a big city, as we said. It's not as expensive as Paris, but it's still an expensive city. So you have to, you know, uh, look a bit about the housing fees, the, the food and activities, budget that you might uh, prepare before coming. And we are also here to help you with that. The International Student Fees give you a guide before you come. But just to have in mind that coming, having the project to coming study in France is absolutely great, but you just have to make sure that you give you all the um, the best uh, situation to do it. Uh, guys, again, uh, did you uh, receive any financial help from either ICAM or the French government? Uh, did you apply for the you know, government housing help? Did you have a student loan? Can you tell us a bit about your situation without you know, getting too personal, but just to have an, give an idea of the students interesting in coming? uh in, in uh year one uh like as, as you mentioned there was a grant of two thousand euros for like mobility and uh well it's clearly mentioned the website that it's only for international students apparently uh well you could get that immediately if you have uh if you have uh, if you require that well which is pretty good in fact because it kind of helped me to uh travel from india to france for the first time and uh yeah well the thing with France is that you have so many different kinds of scholarships if you are good enough and uh, if you regularly work hard enough and uh, you might receive scholarships from government and Campus France. Uh, ECAM, ha well, ECAM is extremely um, 
extremely extremely close community it is a extremely close community and like people know what what is going on with you uh in the administration so they will actually offer you help sometimes with uh, uh like the financial help help and uh, yeah it's uh, and yeah of course you have to have a really good plan to come to france because france is uh, one of the most uh let's say uh, prestigious countries in europe i don't know uh, but yeah you must have a really good plan to uh, actually come to france yeah Okay, thanks. Uh, so we talked about the International Student Office. My colleague Michael Moore uh, is in charge of welcoming and preparing the arrival, the arrival of students. We will have a special live dedicated, dedicated on this part on the 2nd of February, so please note the date. He will be here with another student that will uh, testify with all the help he received uh, from this uh, department. Um, but maybe, guys, can you tell us um, how did Michael help you settle, arrive? Did you have a lot of contact with him? So personally for me, I knew friends a little bit, but uh, the, Michael set up a lot of very good uh, ways to be able to be comfortable when you got to France. One of the best thing that he did was he put all the international students together into a WhatsApp group, uh, starting I think early August, if I'm not uh, wrong. And that was in order to uh, for every student to be able to ask questions and get the important informations they needed and also like each other could help us could could help each other and also that started to create a community so uh, in terms of like international students uh, everybody's like super welcome uh, anytime you have a problem you, you can ask either michael moore or any other students and one super important thing uh, that could be inter uh, like a doubt is that uh, so engineering is uh, some international students, but also some French students that are interested in like going internationally and that they decided to go into the engineering program. And the whole community of the air engineering classes are super close knit. There's no separate, there's not too much separation between the French student and the international students. And I think uh, everything worked pretty well in terms of like English and everybody being friends with each other and working together. Uh, but in fact, when I uh, when I uh, received the letter from uh, ECAM that I was accepted, I immediately started like doing everything. And Michael was like always available for me. Like I had so many questions because it was the first time I, I was traveling to France. And uh, well, Michael like explained me a lot of things. Uh, when I arrived at the Paris airport, I was like immediately lost because it was such a big airport. And I had a one-to-one -one conversation with Michael, and he directed me towards uh, Lyon which was pretty good because uh, I saw that other international students were arriving at the same time and he handled all the things spectacularly and uh, uh, well in fact uh, some of the other international students helped me get to Lyon from uh, Paris uh, on the, in the at the same time and yeah well he is always there when uh, in the process of getting to another yeah okay thank you then to meet this amazing Michael Moore, you have to join us on the live planned on 2nd of February. Uh, yes, yeah, so we do our most uh, to help students. We want to have a very strong ECAM family and we do our best to help you guys. Um, to finish, I would like to give a few words, I mean to finish, to, to continue. A uh, few words about Lyon and France in general, uh, because you might not know this country already. Uh, you can also visit the campus online thanks to our website i invite you to go because you can uh, you know see a bit of lyon but see the campus go into uh, the fab lab discover a classroom discover the cafeteria it's very nice and um, if you don't have the chance to come to lyon and visit directly you can enjoy this virtual visit it's very nice uh, regarding lyon it's i said it's the second biggest city of france but it's also one of the best student city. We have a lot of uh, students and international students, and it's the second best uh, university network. Um, the quality of life, the housing network, the transportation are great. Um, and we enjoy a lot of cultural uh, events and activities. Regarding the careers opportunity for scientific uh, students and engineer students, uh, Lyon is the second largest scientific hub in France. So that means a lot of industries, um, a lot, yeah, a lot of big companies. So it's, it's uh, very good things for internships opportunities, but also work uh, after if you want to stay in France. And to finish, uh, 
Lyon is the perfect place to be. It has, it has the perfect localization. Um, we have an international airport, so you can be in India in five hours. Um, it's, it's, it's very easy. Uh, we have excellent transport infrastructure as train. In two hours, you can be in Paris. In an hour and a half, you can be at the sea. Um, we have, you know, a ski resort just an hour away. And I mean, the city is amazing. It's beautiful. So just check out the video we can offer you to, to see in the chat and it's, uh, you will be convinced in two seconds. But guys, I would like you to talk us to, to, to us about your experience of France, of Lyon, uh, compared to the city, the country you were, you were used to live in. What did uh, strike you the most? Uh, did you experience like, a, you know, um, uh, festivities or anything that, yeah, that, that you have in mind that you would uh, talk to us about? Uh, okay, so for me personally, uh, when I got to Lyon, that was the first time I went back to France in a long time, like actually living. Uh, and Lyon is really a great city, uh, especially ICAM is like in the in the center of the city, so you never take the car. You basically don't have to take public transport. Everything is by walking distance. Uh, it's the weather is nice all year long. Uh, again, yeah, it's very well located. Uh, trains can go anywhere, like in France, but also throughout Europe. So you can be able to visit uh, Europe while you study. Uh, skiing resorts are close. There's a lot of like uh, students and schools uh, throughout Lyon. So that enables for uh, interactions, especially because ICAM uh, has a lot of uh, connections to other uh, schools in Lyon. So like, for example, we share a couple of our classes with, for example, INSAS and stuff like that. Uh, and just overall Lyon is a very uh, sizable city Paris can be seen as too big and everything like too small can be uh, too boring but Lyon is very nice um, and it's a, a great city to live in and a great city to discover thank you um, in my uh, in my opinion I think Lyon is better than other cities in France <laughs> <laughs> because um, you know, it's not like as Alex mentioned that it's not as big as Paris because Paris is actually huge and uh, you can Ecom is so perfectly uh, in the center of all Lyon that you can go to anywhere from uh, Ecom uh, anywhere in Lyon to, uh, from Ecom and uh, but the center of New Lyon is like 10 minutes from Ecom which is pretty good and uh, well the first impression that I got from Lyon was that there's you can literally never go hungry in uh, in Lyon because there's five cafes in every street. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, well, uh, Lyon is such a student city. You will see a bunch of students just hanging out in Lyon and like just a corner of Lyon, and you can uh, meet so many new people in Lyon. Which is actually, in fact, there's a international community in Lyon, uh, specifically in Lyon, not in Paris. Uh, and uh, they actually help you out a lot in terms of uh, everything. In terms of COVID-19, uh, they really help people out. And uh, yeah, I think I like, and the weather is, of course, the weather is spectacular all throughout the year. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, I think I like Lyon very much. So as you can see, uh, people from Lyon love their city. We are very proud of it and it's uh, contagious. Since you you just spent a year here and you you're convinced it's the best place to be, so that's great. <laughs> um, I just look at the um, the questions that uh, students might have asked on the on the chat, so we will uh, uh, just look at it quickly. I I saw a question. Yes, so uh, unfortunately we uh, faced uh, the the COVID nineteen situation here as well, and someone is asking. Stavros is asking. Uh, how has COVID impacted the study program? So uh, we did a lot of things to be able to quickly offer online classes um, as soon as the lockdown was, uh, you know, uh, implemented. Uh, every student were were sent at home. Students who were living abroad were able to uh, stay at the residence. Maybe Howitt will be able to tell us a bit about that after. But yes, we um, implemented online classes. Um, right now, students can go on campus just for specific and small uh, practical uh, class. Uh, 
so yeah, we did whatever we had to do to make sure the program was uh, going on. And uh, maybe guys, you can tell us a bit about your experience during this very difficult period. So, okay, so uh, it came actually dealt pretty well with the like transition to like, we had every single thing online. As, as not, no surprises, it took a little bit of time uh, to be able to, for everything to work. But honestly, um, we've been able to learn in the same way, in the same amount of things that we've learned uh, in the first semester of our first year. And honestly, COVID is a complicated situation socially, but in terms of learning, uh, ICAM has been, has been able to like adapt really well. And so I would personally say that uh, learning, my learning has not been affected that much by COVID, especially because um, now, now we also have uh, online classes, but we are able to go to um, practical labs uh, on campus. So we're able to still uh, see our teachers and uh, do any like labs physically and uh, learn uh, with labs uh, very easily along with online uh, CMs and tutorials. Uh, um, I think uh, ECAM did the online classes pretty well because uh, there was absolutely no hiccups and in terms of transitioning from uh, physical classes to online classes, they did the thing in holidays pretty well. The They in fact invented their own uh, platform where we can uh, uh, interact with the teachers and I really see a problem like there's absolutely like I don't even think there has been uh, that many problems in fact. Uh, and the most clever thing I've seen uh, you can do is uh, implement the labs uh, and make the students come back just to attend the labs uh, in a very secure way, in a very, 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 very secure way. And, uh, and as, as one of the representatives of uh, the uh, my promo, uh, the, I saw that they actually listen to the problems of students and uh, they do whatever is necessary to improve the problem and uh, yeah i think it's uh, very well implemented the online classes thank you and just to add something for the students who were joining our program this year and who had you know trouble to uh, start the program in september because of the uh, restriction to come in another country we were able of course to delay their arrival and offer them online classes so they can catch up and you know, start directly the program with no um, with no issue with the classes. Uh, it's the same yeah. when you have uh, you can have issue with visa. Uh, we we um, ad, we ask people and applicants to try to apply early in the year uh, when you know you will have to do a visa because then you have more time. But if you discover ICAM Lyon uh, in June and apply in June, if you have to arrive two or three weeks later. That's okay. We will send you online classes. And sorry, Alexander, I get you. Yeah, we, I've, we've had in our groups uh, a couple of students that came in this year uh, who had trouble with visas, with COVID, the politics of the U.S. especially, especially and who came in, uh, one person came in like three weeks late and another person came in like five or six weeks late. Um, and it was a bit complicated as usual because you've never been to the school to adapt and to do everything. But in terms of learning, uh, they had every single material uh, to their hands, but also were able to contact teachers pretty easily uh, if they had uh, questions or trouble with anything. So, so honestly, they talking to them. They it seems they had some. Uh, th there was a backup plan in ter if you were late for any uh, sanitary or visa uh, problems. Thank you. Another question regarding uh, the number of application of international students and how many uh, students are generally accepted. So it very depends on every year the students, the program is new. And so every year we have more and more applications and more and more students coming. Um, also now it's possible to join in year second and, and year two and year three. Uh, and this year it's been a bit um, particular because we didn't have as much students as expected and, and as we wanted because a lot of them couldn't make it uh, because of the COVID situation. But generally, uh, we have uh, uh, application completed that students who go through all uh, the process. We have like uh, between 50 and 60 application um, and uh, maybe one over two or one over three, depending uh, students come at the end in the program. 
and it's getting more and more. So we are expecting this year much more um, application, especially for people maybe who wanted to come last year and coming this year. But we don't have a number of places available. We don't have, um, we, do, we cannot just accept like 20 or 30 international students. We want this program to be international. So if you are good, we will accept you, even if we already have 20, 30 students accepted. That's not, uh, we don't have limited places for international students. Let's see, I have a question for French students. So this is not the point, but uh, you can have all information about uh, the new baccalaureate. Uh, you can have a session with admission team. You can have a um, webinar offered by a French, uh, I mean, student from either ICAM Arimetier or ICAM Engineering. So I invite you to go to the French website on the meeting page and set up an interview with the admission team for all uh, the information regarding French um, admission via Parcoursup. And we will also do other uh, live uh, about this. Um, I have a question also about the French lessons. So yes, um, this program is entirely taught in English. You don't have to have a French level required to enter this program because you will uh, receive French lessons all along the five years in order to, at the end, be able to work uh, in, the, um, in the French industry if you want. Ruit, did you speak a word of French before coming? And what is your level of French after one year and a half in France? Uh, okay, I absolutely did not speak any French. <laughs> I did not speak absolutely any French before coming to Lyon. I mean, Igan. Uh, and yeah, well, in like a year, I got a level of E2 in French. I'm still a bit shy to speak French because, of course, I have an accent and everything in uh, French. And it's uh, a little bit confusing for me to uh, make uh sentences but in fact i could understand most of the french uh, spoken by my colleagues which is pretty good in just one year which, which is spectacular and uh yeah well uh, now i can actually in fact take part in french conversation in streets this is this is a spectacular to me because i think ecam has one of the best french teachers i have seen they actually answer you at any time of we of the week and it's uh it's it's so amazing i mean yeah, I, I think uh, the French courses in uh, ECAM uh, is pretty good. Thank you. And what other language did you study? So you have English uh, classes, English courses, French lesson, and did you study any other language at ECAM? Well, the thing is I already know how to speak five languages, so I don't really want to speak another language. All right. What about you, Alexandre? <laughs> Yeah, for me, uh, so English, obviously, and then uh, we're able to take uh, an LV2 and an LV3 uh, at ECAM. So the LV2 is mandatory. So for me, I continued taking Spanish, even though I'm almost fluent. And then uh, for my LV3, last year, I decided to take Chinese. And then I've decided to change this year and take Japanese. So it's super interesting that you're able to take more language classes, uh, uh, both in terms of the language and the culture. And it really fits with the international perspective of the engineering program. Thank you. Uh, we received another question regarding the starting of the program. We do not offer a start of the program in January. All the programs and the every year starts in September. Uh, regarding the possibility to apply directly in year four, it is not possible for the moment. We cannot just um, deliver the master degree. You have to join the program either in year one and from now two or three. I'm um, just checking if I have other questions here. All right. Oh, yes, right. That's a good question. Can you live on campus? Well, yes, we have uh, different uh, possibilities. We have a residence on campus. Um, but for international students, we also recommend uh, our partner residence, which is located very a few minutes away from the campus because it's open 24, uh, 24 and all the time, even during vacation. Uh, but I think uh, our students here had the chance to live on campus. So can you tell us a bit about that? Um, uh, well, as an international student, of course, I got the room in uh, ECAM, which I love, of course, because uh, the residence is so well placed that you can actually, you can actually, it's literally one minute away. The classrooms are one minute away from your uh, room, which is spectacular in my opinion. And since ECAM is based uh, on top of uh, the old Lyon, you can actually have a spectacular view outside the window. You can sp see Alps from your uh, room, which is pretty good. And uh, 
well, it's a student room, so don't really expect it to be like a grand room. It's a it's a pretty sizable room, and you have uh, you have several terraces and uh, in the residence you have several gardens and uh, ecamp which uh, which you can actually go at any time because uh, you have access to uh, the uh, campus at any time of the day. I think I believe because I usually uh, am at like at the top of the ecamp. And uh, well, ECAM has several residences. It has uh, the main residence, the other residence for French people, and uh, and it has some apartments, some co-location. And yeah, the uh, process of getting a room in ECAM as an international as an international student student is uh, very very easy. Yeah. Yeah. So I was also at the residence last year, which was a great experience because you're able to live with both both French students and international students and also students from different promotions, different years, uh, and people who have different specialization and even people who are in Aramitio. So it's a very interesting experience to live there for one year or more. And you're able to like ask each other questions, have great uh, re uh, communications, and also like help each other for exams and stuff like that. Uh, and also financially talking, uh, the residence is very, very affordable compared to the rest of Lyon. So, so that's really a plus. Thank you. So you once again, it's the amazing Michael Moore who will help you go through the housing process. He will uh, tell you which uh, room you can um, you can have uh, because we have some partnerships that are very interesting for international students. Um, and uh, if you need a room, uh, international students can definitely find a lot of help uh, with the ECAM, ECAM staff. Uh, what other questions we have here? Um, what is a good applicant? Well, you must have study, of course, uh, math and physics during high school or either after. You must be um, interesting about the opportunity to study abroad. Uh, you have you you must have an open minded because you will be mixed with a lot of uh, people from uh, a different background, different places. So that's. Uh, um, that's very important. And I mean, as long as you uh, want to be an engineer and you are interested in the, the French environment, then you are a good applicant. Uh, oh, do you offer online classes? Well, we offered online classes during the pandemic situation and for students that were not able to come um, on time for the starting of the program. Otherwise, uh, until now, people and students were coming to the campus. We did not offer online classes, but then who knows with the, in the future we might have to, uh, but otherwise since the, the classes are quite small, um, it's, it's more manageable and it's way much more nicer to have students coming uh, in class. We definitely know that now. Um, I think it's pretty much it. Checking one last time. Oh no, sorry. Um, I would like to know where I should apply because I have ADCS and I will be doing SAT and French baccalaureate. Uh, well, it depends on your high school, on the institution where you are taking your exam. If it's a French high school, depending on the AEFE uh, program, and you have access to Parcoursup, you must go through Parcoursup. But if it's not, even if, if it's uh, like an international uh, establishment offering the French baccalaureate, then you can come to uh, the international admission process. Um, okay. I'm a French student in France. Yeah, so that, okay, I think we, it's pretty much it. If you don't have other questions, I'm trying to think of important uh, points. You can apply starting now. The application is open. We are available to discuss with you of any, uh, any subject. Uh, oh, can I work while studying? I already answered this question. It depends on your visa, on your country. So you have to check this with your embassy. Again, feel free to already check uh, the visa situation to know also what you will be uh, expected to give to the embassy when you uh, when you apply. And that's a good question to see if you can actually work while studying. Although I do not recommend it, I recommend to have a strong plan, financial plan, to be able to focus only on your on your studying. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. Thank you, guys. I will ask uh, Rorit and Alexandre to finish this uh, this live by telling us. What would you say uh, to students thinking of coming at ICAM Lyon for ICAM Engineering? What will be your last word for this live? So I guess I'll start. Um, so for me, uh, I decided to choose ICAM because 
if you want to be able to have as many cards in your hands as possible for your future uh, professionally, if you want to be able to be able to go internationally, have a very good scientific background that's very wide, but also be able to specialize, uh, be able to know uh, a huge in backgrounds, have just generally a good experience uh, studying in France and internationally. It's for me, it's I, I decided to go to ECAM, so it was the best the decision for me. Um, so just overall, if you're an interested, curious person that both in sciences, international, meeting new people, it's ECAM is up. It's, it's so bad because it was very good. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, so we're back on. Okay, so I guess. <laughs> Are we live? Maybe let me see. We're live, so I guess I'll, I'll finish the speech. So, so students want to be able to discover the best tools in your hands to to discover the world. ICAM is is really a good place to start and to do that. So. Um, yeah, as uh, well, I think, uh, uh, well, I'm speaking for the international students. Um, I think Ikam has one of the nicest people I've ever met. And, uh, well, I really came for the international community in uh, Ikam, which is pretty spectacular because, uh, I mean, people from all the all parts of the world come to Ikam. And Ikam has successfully uh, uh, attracted so many students from different countries, which is uh, really amazing. And uh, uh, and well, Lyon, Ikam is based in the best city in France, which is Lyon. And uh, well, Lyon has one of the best food I have ever eaten. Well, as an international students, I think you will, I think you will love it. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's that's why I chose Ikam. <laughs> Thank you, that's great. Uh, well, sorry for the technical difficulties at the end. Uh, I think everybody wants to go and have dinner now. Uh, so we will leave you and have a great evening. Uh, thank you again for all watching. Um, oh, we had a last question now. Is it the program ends on on oriented toward theory? Well, I invite you to watch the replay of the live because Alexandre and Ruit answered that already very well. Uh, it is a very practical hands on program. We have a fab lab, we have a lot of laboratories and a lot of uh, equipment that you can use and, um, and have practical uh, um, experience. So I would not uh, come back to, to this uh, and, and, and leave the guys going now. So thank you a lot again. Um, we will have other lives. Please check our website to know the dates. Uh, live is to um, present all the specializations of the program, a live to meet Michael Moore and explain uh, the, um, the, the help of the International Student Office. And we'll also have another live uh, again in March to present again the admission process if you didn't have the chance uh, to, uh, to ask your questions here. For the French students, again, you can have, um, you can set a meetings with us and you can also participate to a webinar of uh, one of the uh, students in, uh, in ECAM. Uh, so they can present you uh, in French and they can answer all your questions about Parcoursup. And there will be a tutorial about Parcoursup as well later on the year. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, have a great evening and I hope to receive your application very soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.